Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Okay. The Terminator's back, and so am I. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the noob. Sorry I was gone last week. I had some stuff to take care of, and I didn't have time to film. But I am back, and so is the Terminator. That's right. Terminator Dark Fate came out this weekend, and the reviews have been kind of mixed, and the box office hasn't been good, but I gotta tell you, I thoroughly enjoyed the film. Now, in case you've lived underneath a rock and don't know any of the news that's happened, this Terminator film is what James Cameron is calling the official sequel to T2. Basically, all the other movies that came after T2, he is saying does not include into the storyline this is the technical third movie and I gotta say I agree this one felt like the old school movies uh, T1 and T2 um, anything after that I mean I did like Terminator 3 everything else after that was kind of blah but this one I thoroughly enjoyed in theaters now I'm warning those who are watching ahead of time if you have not seen the movie and you do not want any spoilers I would suggest you stop watching this video right now I, like most of the internet, will probably spoil it for you, so if you are trying not to be spoiled, stop. Okay? Uh, for those who are continuing listening, here we go. The story takes place 22 years after T2. After Sarah Connor and John Connor have stopped Skynet from being created, uh, the last Terminator destroyed himself, yada yada yada. Things have happened, and John Connor's dead. I'm not going to tell you how or why, but he died, and Sarah Connor just kind of went out on her own. She decided to go be by herself. So, 22 years later, a new form of Terminators start showing up. They are what are called Terminator Rev 9, the really cool one it's like two terminators in one it's a a metal frame and a kind of like a newer version of the liquid terminator from t2 combined into one it, it's very unique and then you have of course the person on the good guy side which is an augmented human known as grace they are looking for this person known as danny and she is basically the john connor now um the Terminator was sent back to kill her, uh, Grace was sent to protect her, and a lot of things happen. Now the thing that I love most about this film is I love the casting in this. Everyone in here did their job right. Linda Hamilton is back as Sarah Connor. She has got that feel. If you remember back when watching T2 how kind of dangerous she was acting how you really knew you didn't want to mess with Sarah Connor it is the same 22 years later she is still that badass it is great I love how she comes into this when she first shows up it's that bridge scene that you've seen in the trailers where she just shows up starts shooting a shotgun fires a rocket launcher throws a grenade off the bridge says I'll be back that that is how she comes out and I'm sorry that attitude is her attitude through the whole damn film it is great now, Grace, the augmented human, which is basically a human who has been, think Captain America, but with organic cybernetics. Kind of like maybe a mix between him and Bucky. That's basically what she is. And that is played by Mackenzie Davis. Uh, there's not a lot under her film careers that I uh, have recognized her from, but the way she played the part of Grace... Uh, I liked it very much. She was, she had a job. She needed to do it. She was not going to take crap. There was a lot of butting heads between her character and Sarah Connor uh, to where they were constantly getting into argument. Uh, you know, I, at some point I actually thought there was going to be, you know, a shootout, a fight, something between these two. Luckily there wasn't, but still just the butting of heads was really good though I love the way they did this now Danny was portrayed by Natalia Reyes 
Uh, not much underneath her filmography belt. There's a couple in there that I think are, ho are high profile. None that I've watched, so I can't compare her to anything else. The transition of her character throughout this movie is done quite well. In the beginning, she is scared. She's confused. Why is this happening? Why is my family dying around me? Who are these people? Who are you? All this. Uh, this is scared. But then by the end of it, she is standing up to a Terminator, willing to fight it, knowing that it's either it or her. There is not much that can be done. And if you remember back to the very first Terminator film, the way that Sarah Connor was, uh, between that film where she was scared and all that, to the second film where she was a badass, that character progression is basically what happened to Danny in one film. I actually liked it because she actually became very strong at the end. She was willing to do some shit, but she didn't want to lose anybody, so she still had a caring heart. I love the way she portrays this. Now, the newest Terminator, a Rev-9, uh, is portrayed by Gabriel Luna. Uh, he has done various roles. I've seen him, I think, in one of the CSI shows, or I mean the NCIS shows. He does a very good character. And the way he portrayed the Terminator throughout this, very focused, very cunning, and I, I like the way he did it. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about his character was... The thing about it being two Terminators in one, if they didn't show that in the trailer, I think that would have been a greater reveal because just seeing him in the truck scene, I think was the first time you really see it where his body morphs out like that. That would have been a greater surprise if they didn't show it in the trailers. But overall, I like the way they did it, especially this new form of Terminator. It is is very creepy. Basically, you almost don't defeat it. You just basically run from it. And speaking of Terminators, you know our boy Arnold Schwarzenegger is back. Now, this is where a little bit of a spoiler comes in. So if you really, really don't want to know something, definitely skip ahead, stop now, whatever you want. But this Terminator, of course, is not the Terminator from T2 because that one's gone. This one actually accomplished its job. See, apparently Skynet had sent several Terminators back at different time frames. So this one was another one that pops up later and actually succeeded in killing John. So once he was done, he basically walks off and he doesn't have a mission anymore. He basically, throughout these 20-something years, grows the equivalent of a conscience. And he actually finds a family he takes care of. He actually does work, which is kind of weird. Like he's a drapery or something. I, I, it's something to do with fabrics. Uh, he, he's kind of married. I, it, it was really hard to explain that they were kind of married. He had a, a child who he helped raise as a son. Um, and throughout, I guess, history, he felt bad for what he did when he finally grew a conscience. So he kept sending information to Sarah Connor about other locations and times when Terminators were going to show up so she could go out and kill them. He gave her purpose. I found this very unique because no one ever talked about what happened to the Terminators after they accomplished their job. Do they then go on a killing spree? Do they strike all humanity? Do they just shut down? They never really talked about that. So this one kind of talked about what happened afterwards. And I thought it was really great because since he was organic on the outside, which means it still uh, grows, it explained why he was older and all that. I liked it. I liked the way they did that. And now some of the good things I liked about this movie. One thing that really caught me, which I love because not a lot of movies ever talk about this, was the change in the timeline. See, every time a Terminator was stopped, uh, Skynet was still in the future or whatever. I never really liked that because if you can just stop Skynet in the past, wouldn't it stop it in the future? They actually talk about that because apparently after T2, that was it. Skynet was no more. Now you might be wondering, well, why are there still Terminators? Well, now there's a new AI system that came out later because, of course, 
the government is stupid and wants to play with AI and go, here, here's the good. This one is called Legion, and the Resistance is no longer led by John Connor because he's dead. This time it eventually comes down to uh, Danny. So I like the fact that they talked about it. And I also like the fact that because Arnold's Terminator and the Rev 9's Terminator were from different uh, time frames, uh, different AI systems, when they showed um, the looking through the eyes, you know, the whole computer thing, you still had Arnold's really old, antiquated, the way it looked back in the 80s. And then you had the Rev 9's, which was really futuristic, kind of quick and all that, something you would kind of expect. So I liked that because it was two different Terminators from two different timelines because they changed something in the past, which changed the future, which I was very happy with. And let me say, Arnold still has got it. He did great as the Terminator. Um, Gabrielle playing the RAV-9, he was very fierce, very fast, determined. I love the way they, they did this. The characters were all great. Now, some of the downsides on this. It was kind of predictable. And unfortunately, I think since so many people have been disappointed with the other Terminator films, that's why it didn't do so well in box office. Yes, I think it had the top spot in box office this weekend, but compared to everything else, it really wasn't the money maker that they hoped. In fact, I think there was an article saying they uh, have up to maybe lose 130 million off this, which is kind of sad. And the CG, granted, the new Terminator has a lot of jumping around very quick, uh, does a lot of that. So if you're someone like me who can definitely see the difference between real life and CG, you noticed it right off the bat, which I did. I, I don't know if that's just my eye, but I could. But, and the action scenes. When there was action, it was very, very action-y. Think that battle at the end of Terminator 2 where Arnold's fighting against the cops, a lot of explosions and stuff, it was like that. And there was like a lot of those battles. And the consistency never kept up right. It was like really, really fast battle. Okay, we're not gonna have like 10 minutes of slow. Fast, 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 fast battle, five minutes of slow. It was like mm, too much, yeah. But overall, I'd say I like this film. In fact, I may go and see it again just because I liked it. Would it be something that continues the franchise? I don't think so. I think too many people have been butt hurt by it to actually continue with the series. But I wouldn't mind this time frame because at the end of it, Sarah Connor's still alive. She's now going to be training Danny, who already knows that she's going to be saving people in the end. Uh, Grace, the augmented human. We do get to see a glimpse of a younger version of her, so we know that she could come back in later installments as a young version. Not the exact same Grace, but a Grace that could be trained by Danny. It would be very interesting to see. Maybe if they did it in the TV series like they did with the Sarah Connor Chronicles, I wouldn't mind. But is the franchise dead? I think it might be. I may have liked this, and there have been so many other people who liked it, but unfortunately there was too many people who have, like I said, just been butt hurt by all the bad Terminator movies that where they may not give another chance. I hope they do, because maybe if we can get more Terminator films, Cameron can get away from Avatar. Anyways, folks, thank you for joining me on this little bit of a long uh, talk about this movie. Like I said, I enjoyed it. Did you go see it? Did you enjoy this film? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, folks, I'm the noob, and I'll catch you later.